This is a mukbang. It just really tries to get me drunk at karaoke, so I need this. Japanese bread is so good, it doesn't even make sense. It's kind of like Akigi bread. What's up, guys? Your boy MC Bud back again. Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep my voice as low as possible but still be audible because it's almost midnight. I think Zach's asleep again. Um, don't want to disturb him, he's a really cool guy. Um, yeah, I've been working for a week already in Tokyo. Needless to say, it's been mad. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you already see some of the shenanigans I've been up to. But for those that don't, I'm gonna give you like a quick rundown of what's happened this week. So I work for a company called Brain Magic, and I'm part of the marketing and PR team. Also, on that note, part of my job is to promote and get um, the new products called O2 into the Western world. The O2 is a new creative controller that's meant to help you completely eliminate the use of a keyboard in editing, illustration, architecture, and whatever kind of creative work you do. You can get over 200 shortcuts in this one joystick and it's amazing and if you're a creative or you know of any creatives I can guarantee you you need this. This is the current future of the creative industry. If you want to support the OT, if you want to support Brain Magic, link in the description below onto the Kickstarter. Any little will help. I'm actually going to use it to edit this video because they gave me one because I'm part of the company now. It's a great device and it shortens the amount of time you use editing and all that by like half. Support O2, support recreation. Okay, like I said, I'm part of the marketing and PR team and I work in this really big building called the Fuji Soft Building. It's in the middle of Akihabara, in the middle of Tokyo and it's pretty central. Um, the office is on the 12th floor and it's, 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 it's quite an interesting feeling going into work every day. You feel like you're definitely part of like a business world. And my biggest challenge so far working in Tokyo has just been the language. Um, lunch is a bit um, awkward because I'm at lunch with some of my co-workers and I think only two, well three of them speak proper English, um, the rest don't. So if those three aren't at lunch with me, it's a bit tense. I tend to use like Google Translate to type it in and then we read off each other's Google Translate. But other than that, everybody's super cool. Working in Tokyo has made me realize how rude everybody else in every other part of the world I've worked in or lived in is. Because everyone in Tokyo is super polite. It's even in the workplace, like, you would expect the workplace to be a bit more cutthroat but it's actually quite cool my boss is super cool my co-workers are super cool and i don't think it's just because i'm new and i'm a foreigner or whatever because you see the way they interact with one another and it's super polite everybody bowing everybody like trying to get along with each other as much as possible and I don't know if it's a cover-up, like some people might have some beef with each other but for the most part everyone seems to be very polite and I 100% love that part of the Japanese culture. Yeah, I think it goes beyond working. Um, just moving around in Tokyo, you can kind of get the vibe that everybody here is super polite. Everybody here is more considerate than other parts of the world. At induction we had, they kept telling us that the way Tokyo or Japan culture works is it's more about the group rather than the individual and once the group is sorted then the individual can look after themselves and I didn't believe it for the most part because I thought they were just saying it but now that I've actually been in the work world I've been in the life it's quite true like everybody wants to make sure that the company or the group can function fully without them and, and it's great, it's, it's, it's super great. Something else I've realized that is quite prominent in the Japanese culture is um, this thing that my supervisor was telling me about a few days ago, it's called no communication. No communication. So no more, I think it's drink in Japanese and then communication, communication in English and then you combine those two, it's called no communication. So drinking to communicate. I've been out drinking with my coworkers twice this week and in both those times, when we're a bit loose, um, a bit tipsy, we get, tend to talk a bit more 
know about each other and right now I just came back from karaoke with two of my co-workers and it was super great it was actually almost exactly like I imagined um, we we're a bit tipsy I'm still a bit tipsy I don't know if you guys can tell but it was it was super great actually that's why I'm actually in a vest I just came back from work I took my shirt off and I'm like I need to shoot this video and if I don't shoot this now I'm gonna crash to be honest, I feel very sorry for Tokyo because come 2020 and the Olympics are being held in Tokyo, these people are not ready for how rude the rest of the world is. Like, they. People are gonna come here, especially British people, are gonna come here and act a goddamn fool and just. How do Japanese people just confuse? And for the most part, in the Japanese culture, they have so many words for the word no, except actually saying no. Like they're that polite. Like in the Japanese language, there's so many ways to say no without actually saying no. When they're the most angry, they get passive aggressive, they avoid confrontation as much as possible. And I think it's kind of cute, but that's the way it is. And come Tokyo 2020, they, they might be in for a rude awakening because people in the western world for the most part don't really have that consideration for other people it's more about me 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 um whether that's a bad thing it depends on how you take that but yeah it is what it is but anyway let me not gas it too much i've only been here a week um working for brain magic has been fantastic the company is great and out of all the interns i've talked to i think i may have had the best company um because they give me like a little bit of benefits here and there um and they keep me super busy every day for this week um my work hours are 10 a.m to 7 p.m and every day for this week i have used every single one of those hours like they keep me busy and i love it i love it because it makes me hold my skills my cv is gonna be popping by the end of this internship that's more or less how it is in tokyo um, even my commutes in the morning yeah they get packed but in tokyo i don't know about the rest of japan but i know very much in tokyo when you're on a train nobody talks like you're not allowed to talk on a train so even though it's super packed um you're not you don't feel like congested because nobody's talking nobody has bad breath and just going all up in your face my commute in the morning sometimes i'm like squished like this even coming back i could get like proper squished but because nobody's like talking nobody's being rowdy or rambunctious you don't feel it it just feels a bit cluttered and for uh, my commute i'm only on the train for i think a total of about 11 12 minutes it takes me about 35 minutes to get to work but most of that time is me walking from here to my nearest station and from the station um, where i drop off to my working building um and on that note from next week i'm in a new building so i don't know how long my total commute to be but yeah um tokyo is great tokyo is definitely great for all of you watching this video if you ever get a chance to go to tokyo if you ever get a chance to visit tokyo i highly recommend you do link in the description to the kickstarter and i guarantee if you're a creator or if you know other creators if you know creators be it illustration architecture video editing photo editing any kind graphic design any kind of creative field you know the o2 is fantastic for it you can even use to play video games link in the description to the kickstarter kickstarter not kickstarter why does it say kickstarter to the kickstarter any little helps please support or to support recreation support brain magic it's a great company and i promise you you won't regret it anyway that's it for this video hope you guys have enjoyed it i'm a bit i don't know if you guys could tell but i'm a bit ooh, that karaoke took it out of me it was fun though it was super fun it's kind of like i imagined it from anime but i can't wait to do it again um that's that for this video and until next time i'll catch you guys players